Hello there, right. Oh, been here a couple of hours now. It's maybe still a cup of coffee. Uh, it's quite hard work when you're on your own, like processing Tim, I'll be on two hours and uh, it's all rough because the, the timber's green, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not seasoned timber, so I did not want to be able to see this. Hold on, let's get a torch. I'm going to find this. Let's get a torch on. Oh, I forgot what we have. Mark's lost his torch. Just had it. Just had it in your hand. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Just in front of us. <laughs> right, let's have a look. This is what I've processed. Uh, bit smart stuff. I've already got the fire layer there. Bit smart stuff chopped up. Some bigger stuff there in the front and some other stuff at the back. That should last us a while. If anybody else turns up, I think the best thing I'm going to say in there. Chop a bit more tomorrow. Because I'll be on a good couple of hours, like. It's hard work. There's not much, but I think I've chopped about 10, 8 foot. Uh, Eight to ten, eight foot um, links to probably four, the average four inch thick timber with a bow saw. So it's a lovely place. Uh, I'm hopefully going to spend the night here by myself, give it a go, eh? see what it's like. I'm not brave enough, I'm not brave enough, that's a lot back to the car. Um, the car seems to be left in quite a secure place because you turn off the road. And you drive, turn left where the farm is, and then you head through a gate up on across the moor, and across the other side of the moor is a place called Halo House. I'm not sure if it's inhabited or what, but it looks good somehow. It looks like the grass has been cut and things like that. But uh, you just need a corner there, and you walk in, and it takes about 25 minutes, 45 minutes to walk, it's not really far. There isn't any bad hills to walk up here, yeah. It's quite an easy walk. Um, is there any guy you possibly meet, you know? And that stool there, that looks as if it's going to throw some heat with that thing, like, it's amazing. But, I'll have a cup of coffee, then I'll catch his arm a bit. Hopefully, nobody else turns up. Oh, 5.30, still no one here. It's looking good so far, it's still, still early, like. Time people finish work at three, see ya, half three, get to them. Now I turn round, maybe now to dry here. I reckon I get about seven o'clock, the chances are a lot of more and more stiff. More, you know. See that by seven o'clock, I'm you hope my somebody when it gets dark. What you hope I'm praying if somebody turns up. Yeah? <laughs> You never know. No, oh, I'm enjoying it, it's great. It's fantastic to think there's places like this. You know? Places like this you can use free. I'm definitely gonna pay me twenty quid now and join like you know, I've become a member. It's it's you know, twenty quid. What's twenty quid? If you come even if you never use it, you 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 give twenty quid of a good you know, a good course. But I plan on using them more and more in the winter like. Because uh, I love wild common, I like me tent. Sometimes in the winter, it's, it's alright if you're going by yourself in the winter because you can get in your tent, you can listen to music, I listen to music, I have a didn't drink too much in the winter, like you know, to keep yourself sensible in the winter. You can, you know. But if you're going as a group, yeah, you're struggling really. You know, it's a bit antisocial if you if there's four or five years gone and you your bag or sitting in separate tents and the wind could be howling you couldn't you couldn't even talk for the while your tent. But I think the wind that makes sense to Bothian, definitely. Oh. Got an engine nearly. I think it's a quad. It's probably the farmer. It's a beautiful place like you look over that way in front of us you can see for miles and you know, it's just without having the pit on map, I can't really tell where I am in relation to Keela Forest, you know. I think I'm in the let's have a think how long we get there. I'm think I'm in the, the southeastern part of Keela Forest. But 
but without having the big map bras, I mean, it's, it's vast in it, Gila Forest. It's huge. You can't really tell, you know, where, you're, where I'm at. I think the drive up here was probably harder than what's around the car, because I was a bit unsure of it. Um, and then he turned off for stone off. I think, it, I think some people do park with stone off then walk. Quite a walk that like. Um, but uh, one of the lads off our Facebook um, group, he, he pointed us in the right direction. He's, he's got loads of information and um, thank you very much. Um, and it's not a problem getting here, like. Probably a little hiccup when I was navigating. But it's my fault, I should always, should always call you Peter, man. You know, I rely on, on an electronic device because you can't see the bigger, the bigger picture, you know. But it's good, brilliant. And there's me at the look, companion. He came up before, had a wander around, and he just wandered back to the door. Wanted to go back in his house. <laughs> I've got his coat on there, he's just had his tea. <laughs> he loves it, man. Yeah. Alf! Don't you love it? Don't you love it? He certainly loves it. I tell you what it is, we've been some places and we've done some things that don't we? You kind of complain and we, I mean I know there's times when me and Len has it up working. Sometimes he's not, not that often like he's left to his own devices in the house and but he's got Valerie to keep him company because she will she'll be good company, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, most of the time he's somebody looks after him or all these in. Uh, he's been on some adventures, mate. Camping and bothying and all sorts. There's a fire pit here, which looks as though it's been quite. It's it, probably, yeah, part of, probably full as well. But uh, I don't know how to walk in the back here. One thing you should always do with the bothies is make sure when you're walking in the back of them that, because it is some irresponsible people who use the back end of the bothies as a toilet. You know, you don't want to be standing like. Then you can see the other body there. Right, catches the other. Right, the situation of the port is um, this daft tow shop. Now you can't see it. Um, hold on a minute. Still can't see it. Hold on a minute. Got an idea. I'll shine a torch this way. Yeah, you see us now. All right. <laughs> um, quarter yet, my tea's on, still no sign of anybody, so it's looking good. I think I'm going to get through this. The solo, the room's filling up with smoke, I'm getting a bit worried with that. Um, it shouldn't be. Let me open the door a little bit. Last man down, carbon monoxide poison, do it? Definitely not. Right, catch us Well, here. it's getting on now, it's quarter past nine. Um, I've my chicken jar for you. Sorry about the spooky light for you, but <laughs> it's a bit dark in here, you know, so it's the best I can do. Anyway, um have my chicken jar for you. Came up peel all rice. Took a while to heat up, but I got there eventually, it wasn't nice. Mm. Rice. Nobody's turned up, so it's brilliant. Um, Alfie's been asleep for a phew, for three hours. I've got in the store of Roaring, it's brilliant. Uh, definitely recommend this place to anybody. It's um, nice, it's very cosy in here now. Uh, I've been listening to some music. Keep nipping out every game, now and again, just make sure there's anybody creeping the path. There's no curtains, so if anybody does walk past the window, I'll, I'll shit me side, you know. But, uh, uh, not bad. Took a few photos, but it's been a bit overcast, so there's no star photos. So we'll have to hopefully get something tomorrow on the way home. So that's my latest update. Catch you later. Still not um, thinking with things like um, the hills have eyes and the cabin and them um, films where people in America come on holiday in the middle of the forest and there's like a little place like this and the, the axe murderer comes. I'm not thinking of things like that, honest. <laughs> right, bye for now, I'll see you later.
hopefully. The latest update is still no one here, just me and the dog. Um, an army helicopter I came across. It was one with lights on and the one behind it didn't have lights on. So what I'm imagining is the one at the back was a training helicopter. The training flying darkness and the one in front was guiding them. That's how I can imagine. And the ones at the back probably had the um, night vision goggles on. And the one in the front was just like basically marking its, its flight path in case anything else came. So that's where we are at now. Um, but I mentioned the acoustics in here are fantastic. So I've been building a few tunes out. That's not in video. Because uh, the tunes were on the phone, which I was singing to. And I'm using the phone to record, so that's not going to happen. Um, but sorry about that. Uh, I'll not. It's been a good night. Very good night. Just stoke the fire up again. Throw the little logs on. And I think my reason I wouldn't know I want to go to bed. I'll catch us in the morning. Morning, ladies and gents. Um, oh. Quarter past seven. Uh, I've been up for about an hour. I woke up this morning, pitch black, and I couldn't find my head torch, so I spent the first hour blind. Um, I was dying for the toilet, so I had to scramble up in the dark for my torch eventually. <laughs> uh, it was a good night, slept great. Not, you know, nice sort of, you know, you're a bit apprehensive about spending the night. Like this, in the middle of anywhere, you know, you watch daft films and your imagination runs wild with yourself. But I think when you're gone somewhere, you can pick the vibes up straight away, you know. And it's, I didn't pick any bad vibes up with this place, like Nenatal. Um, it's beautiful, really nice. Had a great night, uh, albeit a lonely night, I suppose. But you know, that's just one of them things. Brilliant. Fire, fire a bit burnt well. Um, I was warm enough, definitely warm enough. Slept brilliant. Never, never really woke up at six o'clock this morning. Um, me bumps in the night. Me visitors. The only bit of activity I had was the helicopters last night. Coming across, like, coming across this way. I think one of the train flight, as I said. Um, it's fantastic. Brilliant. So the next time I come back here. Try the rest of the out as well. Um, Kila, so I'm not sure if there's three or four. It's we end up. Can't remember the names. The rest of them. Rough side. We end up. Um, there's another one. Houghton Green. Number no, five actually. I'm not sure if it's five. Curse up head. That's the one. I think that's the one that does has gone to your name. Rob Jakes now. I think it's Rob now. Yeah, Trevor. Cod Hunter. They gone some night this week, the one of them. Aye, right, brilliant. A bit windy like. Stormy first thing is small with the wind. Apart from that, we need one. It's taking a while for the for the deer light to come through, like it's still quite cold inside the body. Um, shall I cut a coffee? If anybody's worried, worried about water, there's a water pot there which collects the water off the roof. And all I did was just filter it. I filtered. I filtered last night. Um, we saw I filtered up with this morning. I just boiled it. So if this video gets put up, you know I've survived. If it doesn't get put up, well, I uh, succumbed to water poison. <laughs> no, 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 it's alright. It's fine. It's rain water. It's probably it's probably more pure than the water you get at your tap. Actually, to be honest. Right, back inside now. Stove was there, fine. I'd recommend, oh, hold on, there's black hands. I'd recommend anybody using a stove. If it gets a bit smoky in here, right? Sorry, let me see it. If it gets a bit smoky in here, put the um, open the door. Keep both the doors open a little bit. And one other day is let oxygen in and it'll, it'll start burning better, you know. I don't know what that noise was really. But do you hear it? <laughs> I'm going to get home in the morning now. Huh? Anyway, I'll catch you later on the way back. Right, that's me. Just about done. Uh, just to walk back to Cornu. The one house, the place there. 
fantastic. So, thanks very much. Mountain Boys Association, your 20 quid's going to be getting sent very shortly. I'm going to make more of these things. Excellent. I've well, just got to walk back the car now. Uh, I'm going to time it so long it takes. What time is it now? We've got eight, exactly eight o'clock. So we'll walk back the car, see how long it takes. I'll get people an idea of how long it takes to get here and back. Obviously, I think walking back is going to be a bit quicker because the bag's light as a feather now. Now I'll have my curry, drop me a bottle of wine, and um, the dog's at his food. So, all in all, it's been a very good trip so far. Um, Alfie's enjoying his look, a little prancing away there. <laughs> Left his coat on him, like, oh, I was dead on the morning just to. Oh, I'm not feeling what he's doing there now. I'd probably, yeah. And, and I think nearby here be a good place to bivy. Uh, a hammock, you know, there's plenty of trees lying. There's a few of them are wind blowing, like, they've been blown down by the wind, but quite an open forest, that. There's nice bits of deciduous forest across there. Oh no, it's not a bad little place, like. You know, that's uh, quite scenic. So, I'll catch us later. I'll probably fill him next to the corner to get an idea where he's going. Oh, I was going to wait until I got back to the corner and fill him. My dog was sniffing after something. And he's just put a deer up. And he ran and he wouldn't take any notice of us. And he's in big bother when I get there. No, he's not really. He's just, he's just stupid. He's too still uh, I'll try and uh, get him back on track. Come here, Alf. Yeah, come here, son. And that's what you're meant to do, but I'm fighting in case I lose you. You silly old, you silly old bugger. Come here. Yeah. You're too old to catch deer, especially fully grown ones.